ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Peaceworth. Saturday night is hockey night and my name is Phil Smith. I'll be calling the game along with Peaceworth hockey legend Alan Storer. I don't know if it's because it's been a balmy September, late September evening, and uh, and it's warm outside. But there is a, a layer of mist. The the, the plexi was. Oh, that's a, it's, uh, a good save there by uh, by Adam Goss. Hunt's not averse to uh, a, a physical challenge himself. So let's see if we see some of that chance at the back post. Oh, and he's said in the post, and uh, we. Uh, get oohs and ahs from the crowd so there's a great picture from uh, Lorraine Stanton on Twitter um, watching the the live stream cheering on the bees and uh, if you use Twitter get a hold of that Padalek shoots goal Alice Padalek with a ripper on the power play one minute and 21 seconds left of uh, Bailey Harewood's penalty but Padalek on the hash marks Rips it over Adam Goss's left hand shoulder. Top shelf where Alice Padalek likes to stick that puck. 1 0 to the Phantoms. Just the start that Slava Kulikov would have wanted. You do say it every week. I say it every week, partly due to my age and failing eyesight, but it would help me out awfully if these teams could organise themselves. Great goal! What a ripper from uh, uh, Bailey Harewood, 77, second goal of the evening, the second power play goal. What a fine shot, uh, Mara incisive through traffic and uh, a leveller, just what the doctor ordered. Absolutely, I can imagine Steve Merry jumping up and down on his side for as much as he likes. But once again, Harewood at the heart of everything good for the bees. It was a simple pass from Gabay that uh, let him in, not a whole lot that Mara could do about that. Instead, it's come back, so it's a face-off in the phantom zone. And it's eventually come out to the bees. Oh! A uh, real uh, excellent shot from the bees. The bees take the lead. Just trying to make out who that is. I think that was uh, Ewell Ingram, the uh, dual national Finn Brit. Yep, there we go. Lingren then with the, the goal. Big smile on his face. Number 38. Looking for the wrap round. Goss makes the near post save. What a celebration it'll be when he gets his goal. Out to Will Weldon. Tom Norton. Goal! goal! The blue line hammer from Tom Norton. Through traffic. Norton levels things up. Let's see the replay. Norton skates into the zone. It's laid back. And uh, Tom Norton ties things up 2 all with eight minutes and nine seconds of the period to go. Easy from a bit, but uh, maybe could have played it out to the point. Bees break, foot race, goodbye. Over the hash marks, goal. Five all and uh, a lovely first time finish through Jordan Marr. Bees take uh, or restore their one goal advantage. Five minutes and 20 seconds left just uh, seeing that on the replay Luke Johnson chasing down goodbye goodbye over the hash marks and it's in the goal good yeah. finish uh, right. in acres of space uh, still in eight with acres of space and uh, that should be a goal Harewood couldn't convert Bees have it once more over the blue line Shot, oh my word, what a finish. Goodbye again. So let's take a look at the replay. So two men back for the Phantoms, goodbye. Onto the hash marks and what a snipe, great goal. Bees four, Phantoms two. Phantoms need the next goal. Norton calls for it. It's kept in the zone by the Peterborough Phantoms. Well, that's a big hit. And we uh, let's dance, and that should be a penalty against. Uh, well, I'm just trying to see who it is. Cross check in the back, nothing given. Officials and all over it. Well done, and here we go. So Hunt floors goodbye. So 
That's a serious infringement. He's jumped the guy from nowhere. Yeah. I mean, Hunt. Hunt it on goodbye, possibly slightly late. But yeah, still trying to figure out quite who that was for the bees. Well done and happy. Airwood with the helmet, he needs to go as well. Yeah. Let's see if we've got a replay of that. So there's a hit there initially. Weldon. Yeah. So Howard and. Uh, so I thought Weldon. I thought that uh, Goodbye had uh, come from nowhere. It, uh, Jarvis would have seen that. No, no problem there. I, yeah. I was wrong on the commentary. Well, regard action. Four two to the bees, looking for their first competitive victory of the season. And you know what? At 5-2, they're likely to score at Bainbridge with the initial stop. And uh, the Bees on the board once more. Yeah, Bainbridge did well with the initial stop there. Uh, fortunately, gave up the rebound. Uh, Harewood's happy with that. The rest of the bench are happy with that. So it's another penalty. Oh, and Bainbridge tries to play the puck, fans it, and it's that man Harewood again to dispossess the Phantoms netminder and wrap it around for what surely will be one of the easiest goals of his career. Well, 11 minutes of the game left, but you'd think that that's good night, Vienna. Phantoms go on the power play. Norton's blue line Thunderbolt goes agonisingly wide of the post, and now Marky Power's breaking. Billing Stretch has it. pass, Clark uh, Pizzo on his own. Goal! At last! More than Clark Pizzo, first goal for the Peaceful Phantoms. There's the replay, a ripper from the top of the circle. Phantoms 3, B6, great finish. Is there enough time for the Phantoms to put pressure on the Bees Ice Hockey Club? Glenn Billing into the centre. Clark Pizzo. Clark Pizzo. Oh, I thought that was a penalty. Goal! Phantom score! A fourth! Quick fire! Goals for the Peter Phantom. Let's see the replay. The architect. More than Clark Pizzo down low. Glenn Billing calls for it. Billing with the goal. Uh, looked like he was on the edge of the crease. And the Phantoms have another goal. Eight minutes left. A minute ago, I asked the question, is there enough time for the Phantoms to put pressure on the Bees? Yes. Bees, I think it is. Bainbrook stretches the... Uh, the uh, and we get some... Uh, we get... Well, let's dance. Ryan Bainbridge extremely unhappy. If we've got a replay of it, I'll show you. But I think that all started because Bainbridge felt that the man went in on him. Let's just have a look at that. Yeah, well, yeah. there he gets. He's got his glove in Bainbridge's face. And we've got. And we've dancing. got a fight. Luke Johnson and power. Johnson keeps hitting despite the fact that the man's down. And uh, that was power on Weldon. So, so Weldon was on his knees. Mikey Powers continued to go on on him. However, as a member of the Netminders Union, I do feel that any offensive player in your crease is fair game. Phantoms trail by three. Oh, we and we're again. off again. Joe Gretchen. Still got his helmet on. Lands a bomb. And another. And another. Jackson gets one in. There's one. And another. There you go. So, uh, Gretton goes to the locker room. Some absolute haymakers from Joe there, I have to say. There you go. There's the one. 
but there is an empty cage. Hold on to your hats. Bugler's calls. Go in the swamp, Alexis! There's life in the old dog yet. Three minutes to go. Lots of traffic in front of Goss. Played in, dragged back. And it looks like Glenn Billing with a backhanded chip into the top shelf. Yeah. Not the prettiest goal Billing will seven. score in his career, but they all count. So there you go. You pull the net minder with 3.23 remaining. So with two seconds left, I think you can put that in the book. Exciting game, great finish. The Beans have won here in Peterborough, seven goals to five.